As far as range is concerned, we, um, I think, have, sh have shown that the range can be uh, very long. In fact, we, we could make it even longer than it is today. Um, but our longest range vehicles have um, a range uh, over 600 kilometers. Um, and, uh, and, and there's, there's more. We could, we could actually do more range than that, and you'll see actually some uh, improved versions of our vehicles come out with uh, over 600 kilometers range, starting to approach 700 kilometers. And we even have uh, some under development long term that can do 1,000 kilometers. So the, uh, what, what we see is really the fundamental uh, impediment to progress with batteries is the cost. So um, <clears throat> if, you've got, if you've got range, if you've got rapid recharge, um, and, um, and that all, that all those can be achieved, and, and a, a high calendar and high cycle life, um, so you know, batteries can last like 15 years, which I would believe ours currently can, then the, the, what, what it comes down to most of all is uh, improving the cost so that the affordability of batteries is, of, of, of battery-powered cars, of electric vehicles, um, is improved and so that er everyone can afford to buy an electric car. That's, that's really what we see as the, the, the fundamental thing that needs to be improved. You know, I, th I think there's, there's just a lot of talent um, talented designers and uh, engineers um, in Europe, of course, and uh, it would, I think, for a lot of the best people, they really want to work somewhere where they're doing original design work. Um, they don't want to just be, you know, doing, say, the European version of something that was designed in, in California. So I think it's important for, in order to attract the best talent, um, to, to do original design. Um, and I think, uh, you know, possibly, uh, in Europe, it would make sense to do, um, I guess, a compact car, so perhaps a hatchback or something like that, and um, something, something that, like, well, what do most people want um, and uh, in, in a given region, um, or what is a very popular approach to take? Um, you know, in the US, U.S., the cars just tend to be bigger for personal taste reasons, um, and in Europe, it tends to be smaller, um, and... Uh, I mean, if, you, if you're trying, if you're trying to, to park in a dense urban environment, having a car that is um, that actually fits, fits in a parking space easily is important. Um, I was driving a Model X around Berlin, and we, we had quite a bit of trouble finding a parking space that we could fit. So, um, I think that, you know that would probably be a good candidate for original design. Um, but there, I'm sure there'd be others as well. But I, that, that that might be the wise place to start. Um, and it, it helps us also say, okay, we need a car that people can afford, uh, that fits their lifestyle and everything. And so probably something like that would make sense. Um, yeah, I'm excited about doing some original design in Europe.